I've always been a traveler. In my early days, I traveled Helmand Province, Afghanistan, looking for food, water, shelter, and love. They were all hard to find, and love was the only one of them that I could give. And it was love that rescued me. I'm still a traveler, but I'm no longer alone. We travel together, and the only things I pack are positivity, gratitude, curiosity, and of course, love. This guy packs everything else. This lady makes sure we get there. And she makes sure we have plenty of pillows and cheese. Together we travel in search of new sights, smells, and places to tell our tale. Because we've learned the value of being stubbornly positive. And now it's our duty to share it with the world. We started this journey in our home state of Maine, kicking off the summer with my favorite hike, Cadillac Mountain. See how easy I make it look? Don't forget to pack my toys! Our first event of the summer, we helped raise money for canines on the front line. Hey, we clean up pretty good. Then we headed south to Craig's old high school in my first hometown, Burke, Virginia. Look what they had on the walls. It's so cool. This is Kara. She's awesome. We shared our story with a room full of really excited people. You'd think they'd never seen a dog before. I guess not one as handsome as me. <laughs> Big thanks to these librarians who work hard to make sure everyone appreciates stories like ours. Hey, you guys are blocking my locker. Trains are pretty cool, but as a rule, I don't like anything that's louder than me. Good job, Fred. I better keep my eyes peeled in case we get snuck up on by another one. Craig says this was one of the best days of his life. I just like seeing how happy everybody was. We had a great time catching up with old friends and making new ones. This happy pup was from Kuwait. But it was time to get back in the truck and head west. In Kentucky, everyone seemed really excited about what was in these old barrels. They sure smelled good. But I was really just happy to hang out with a couple of my fellow friends. We made it all the way to Colorado. Craig would not stop making Dumb and Dumber jokes. I liked it. A lot. I think we've been in the car too long. These clouds had everyone nervous as we crossed into Colorado. Except me. I've definitely seen worse. But I was glad when they were over. We made it to the Douglas County Library in Parker. And we met up with our friend Steve. And we were amazed at how many people came to hear our story that night. Even though we were so far from home. Our friend McGuire even made the trip down from Wyoming. We haven't seen him since he helped hide me at Camp Leatherneck back in Afghanistan. Our next event was at the Newmont Mining Company where we shared our story. It was a lot of fun, but the best part was I got to see this guy. This is Joe. He's the man. I haven't seen him since he got hurt in Afghanistan. And he says that I'm a big part of how he got better. Everyone was surprised that I remembered Joe because it had been so long since we'd been together. But our bond is stronger than time. After all, friendship never fades. Mm-hmm.